guys, welcome back to Slice of Gaming. I'm the only Python 4, and this is more braid for the PC. So we're gonna move right along to World 5 here. Let's see what's in store for us in time and decision. She never understood the impulses that drove him. Never quite felt the intensity that, over time, chiseled lines into his face. She was never quite close enough to him, but he held her as though she were, whispered into her ear, words that only a soulmate should receive. Over the remnants of dinner, both knew the time had come. He would have said I have to go find the princess, but he didn't need to. Giving a final kiss, hoisting a travel bag onto his shoulder, he walked out the door. Through all the nights that followed, she still loved him as though he had stayed, to comfort and protect her. Princess be damned. So, let's start off with, as per usual here, in the pit, to teach us all about what this game's got for us in store this time. So we can see these puzzle people's pieces have a purplish glow to them, but we rewind time and we lose them, so it's not like the green glow. So let's have the shadow do our work for us. That's right, anything that has a purple glow to it, you can create a shadow when you rewind time, and the shadow will collect then interact with that object for you. So we're going to go into So Distant and show more of that off here. So as you can see, we got a purple switch here that can open up this gate. So stand by the door here, push the switch, Rewind time, and this shadow guy is going to do all the work for us. Isn't that convenient? Wouldn't that be nice to have in real life? So we got the very first puzzle piece here, and now for this one here, what we'll have to do is we're going to use that guy to get to both the gate and the switch. So first things first, we got to get to the gate, or sorry, the switch, not the gate. So let's see if we can get this guy close enough so for us to get a boost from him. Oh, not quite close enough. You can also see that the shadow can interact and get killed by monsters as well. Just the same as you can. That will be a little bit important later on. So let's hit the switch here, get this gate going on. And now to rewind time. Back to when this guy was alive. So that way the shadow can open the gate up for us and then we can get on our merry little way and get to the puzzle piece. Also the shadow only stays for a certain amount of time and he looks so sad after he's done his job. So this is an untitled section. So we got a purple door here, we got a key, and we got a flower down there. We all know what a flower is, that's our little rabbit friend blocking the way. So we're gonna use the shadow here as both a lure and a courier. A courier rather, not courier. So, first thing we want to do here is you grab the key. So after you grab the key, you can lure this guy out if you want, and he only goes up to a certain amount, so he's going to be blocking the way for us for that puzzle piece. He's not going to be moving past those spikes. He knows he doesn't want to die either. So first things first, you can see when um, the shadow here grabs the key, he can also grab this purple key for us. Anything written purple, he can grab and interact with. So as you can see here, the shadow only let interacts for a certain amount of time. So let's get close to these spikes here. Shadow grabs the key. So as you can see here, we can use that as a relay kind of a system, and we're going to be using that a little bit later on. So let's get it nice and close to this pit of spikes here. Jump across. Now let's go and wait for him on the other side. He'll take this across for us, and now we catch the key and we can open up the door. So let's use this shadow as a lure. This rabbit loves us, absolutely loves us. So we'll plant ourselves here. Let's rewind time. Oops. Let me just redo that so we don't get killed by the rabbit. So the shadow will attract the rabbit to the one side. And now we can sneak our way around and grab the piece. So this puzzle piece is highlighted in green, so if you guys remember, we can rewind time and we won't lose this piece. So let's get back up here. I don't believe there's any other way of getting back up, so... Let's go on to this next area, crossing the gap. This one here is a little bit tricky, especially for the very last puzzle piece in the section here, which is the one to the very far right, that guy there over the door. First two aren't too terribly bad. First thing we gotta do here is we move the switch over. 
And now we gotta get rid of this guy down here, unfortunately. Sorry about that. But we'll need you for a little bit later. So we'll get rid of him. Rewind time. Until you come back up to where the switch is here. We'll push the switch, we'll come across. Wait for the shadow to get rid of the guy for us. Hopefully it won't run out of time here. I think I should have just enough. Yep, just enough, that's all I need. Now we're gonna use him to come up here. Now we're gonna grab this very last tricky puzzle piece here. So he'll come down, as you can see. But, unfortunately, I wasn't hasty enough. You can't let him go into that little area here, otherwise you're gonna have to redo everything. So let's come back to this very top part here. Now we gotta raise him down. Now before he lands down here at the bottom, you have to hit him from underneath, I believe, while he's on the platform. So we're gonna give this guy a bit of a boost here. Let's see if we can do that. Doesn't look like the shadow is able to give him a boost either. Missed it there. Maybe it's when he's just coming off the platform. Maybe that's when I'll have to give him a boost. Let's try this again here. So we'll come down. Oops. Didn't mean to land on him. We'll have to be doing that after. Let's come down here. Right to when this guy's about to land. That should be good. Oops. Missed him again. There, that's what you gotta do. You gotta give him a boost while he's coming down from the platform. So Shadow will give him a boost for us, and we'll jump on his head while he's up in the air and grab the puzzle piece. That one can be tricky to figure out. Now we're gonna have to do a little bit of deja vu here, so let's push the switch again and get rid of this guy down here. But this time we're gonna do something a little bit different. Let's come back up here so Shadow gets rid of him, and as you can see when you move this platform, a Shadow Bridge is created. So that guy can come across now, and we'll use him once again as a boost to get up to the second puzzle piece. Window of Opportunity. Oh, there's our Window of Opportunity right there. So this one here is another one that can be a little bit tricky. We got two doors, but we've only got one key. However, you'll see that one of the doors is highlighted by purple, which means our shadow can interact and deal with it. So what we need to do here is, as you can see, when you unlock the door, we can get through. And that's the door the shadow has to interact with, and then in the meantime, you have to interact with that door. But first, we have to use the top of the door as a platform. Let's see if the shadow touches it even. Nope. Because once you hit the switch, you gotta have that purple door open as well. Otherwise, you can't get out. And this is just as an example here, as you can see, Shadow can't interact with that top door there. He's, he's just keeping on going there, he's trying to get, get to the switch too. And the Shadow unfortunately can't interact with that particular switch for you. Let's see if he was... I don't think I was close enough to the door, I'm afraid. Let's see. That sh I'm touching the door there, so hopefully that should be close enough. I might have to actually physically open it myself. Yeah, it looks like I have to. Looks like I'll have to do that. Let's come back up here, get across before he's opening the door for us. Now we'll push the switch. And we're gonna go all the way back here to where that puzzle piece was and go and collect it. So that's one's, that one's not too terribly bad. It's just figuring out which which door the shadow can interact with. There's nothing over there. I don't think there's one of the stars over there either. So let's move right along here to this next puzzle piece. Which is another one that's going to be interesting. This one here might take some practice. So as you can see, this top switch will raise that bottom part there. So what we have to do is we're going to come back down here, stand right underneath the switch for a little bit here, look up. Now let's rewind time. Now we're going to push the switch for the shadow. Stand on this platform here so when the shadow looks up, he'll open that switch up for us. And that way we can 
get up to this last puzzle piece. That one can be more tricky with timing. Ah oh, yes, the lair. Now we have to fight another boss fight battle, but this one's going to be a little bit tricky. Last time this guy was highlighted in green, but now he's highlighted in purple. So let's activate the fight. And what will happen here is when you activate the chandelier, the shadow will also activate one too. So this one here, what you have to do is you gotta get your timing down because you only have two chandeliers and once you destroy the main one that you can interact with, you're kind of done for. So you gotta have your shadow take care of at least three of the hits for you. So best method that I tend to use is just to stay over by this first one here and wait till he comes close to you. Make sure you get the hit, rewind time, and dodge his fire. So that way the shadow gets the hit for you. And then just rinse and repeat. So let's dodge these fireballs. The fireballs are also highlighted in purple so the shadow can be killed by them as well. Oops. And so can you. Three more hits left. So, now we got two, so we can use these chandeliers if you want to. I usually like to save them for the last hit if I can. Just to kind of guarantee that I'll absolutely get it. Oops. Dodge this. Oops. Let's dodge these two fireballs here. Dang it. Just at the last second. That should hit. There we go. Now you can use this one again if you want to. I'm gonna try to get close to him since he's over here. And I'm impatient, which usually costs me something. Ah, oh, just missed. Just missed. There we go. Now we're gonna get the key very carefully. Don't open that door. Of course, what do I do? I open the door. It's very fidgety once it lands over in this corner here, because you gotta pick up the key without opening that door. Because we're gonna need this key before opening another door. That was right at the very beginning there. So let's open up this door. And throw the switch. Rewind time. Tell you right about down below here, that should be good. Now you wanna click quickly raise to the other side here and open up this other door. And when he pushes the switch for you, he raises up this gate here for this puzzle piece in this section. So this is another fragile companion one. This one here is actually not as hard as the first one. Basically, you have to touch the door first. So make sure you run into it a few times. Grab this key, which is highlighted in green, so remember once you use the green key, it'll be gone. Ah, oh, stupid companion. There you go. So have the shadow open the first door and then you open the second one. Well that one's not too terribly bad. It's just you gotta remember you gotta have the shadow open up the first door for you. Hey Dino, how's it going? I um, I'm lost. How are you? Well, doing alright I guess. Now we have to do some more puzzle solving. So this picture here isn't too terribly difficult just because you got several heads you can kind of orientate the pieces correctly so obviously when the face is upside down you can kind of tell which piece goes where same with this you got the arm going on here so that's probably the bottom piece since the arms upside down Let's put that with here. No, oh no, that's a corner piece. Never mind. And this head goes with this one. And then we got another set of arms here, which is the side piece, I imagine. Yep, looks like it. And this piece probably goes right here underneath this one, since it connects with the head. It's just this one, this white one here, that's a little bit hard to kind of tell what it is. And this piece that I got here, I thought it was a glass. That was upside down, which didn't really make sense for the longest time, but it's actually something else. This is the side piece here. It's actually an airplane. I thought it was a glass. So 
that's that piece solved. So now we're going to go into World 6 in the next part.